as one of the top leagues too. Yeah. 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 This almost was Frank Ocean lost. I'm telling you. But Kevin has a valid reason. He's, he, he got something going on. He does. He, he gets mixed with Josh since today. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> we'll get into it. We'll definitely get into it. I'm going to hear how Sonic is for Is it? Surprise Sonic? Okay. Okay. Still, still sad. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're live. What up? What's up, everybody? Games Music Life Podcast, episode 43. Bunny is buried. Yeah, Bunny's gone. Bunny's not here. He is, he's gone for right now. In that unemployment line. Yeah, he's gone. My, my boy Jay is back. Heck. Missing Kev today. He has some things going on today. He, um, he'll be back to explain next week what, what was going on with him, but he is missing. He's definitely in our prayers. He drank more water, so he's feeling better. Yep. But uh, he what definitely was, was under the weather, so... You know, shout out to you, Kev. You know, we know you out there. This was going to be a Frank Ocean loss um, episode, but this is an excused absence. So, <laughs> so we're not going to get. He get an album a ninety seven. No, ninety seven. On any in any spectrum, is that album worthy of a ninety seven? No, no, not no. at all. Not at 87 all. Eighty seven at max. I. You know what? Even my rating, I thought it was a little low, but ninety seven, absolutely not. I think I was underwhelmed. You you, are? Guys, you guys set me up to fail on that album. You, you guys were bigging it up, and I'm like... Well, yeah, I expected it to be better, too. I hey, was ready. You pull up the chat, and okay. I because I'll pull up something else there. All right, but yeah, what's up, everybody? I'm your residential Xbox fanboy, Nadir. I'm Jared, a.k.a. Both hands wash each other, both wash the face. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna defend today because we got yeah, a lot. We got, it's going for you for you being a Sony yeah. fanboy. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to pick up that gun and musket and and fight this battle today. I'm on two fronts right now. Because as the Xbox fanboy, I'm popping my collar today. Yeah, it's a lot to talk about. But you know what? I think it's sad for gaming though, and I'm, I'm definitely gonna explain a little right. bit more. We'll get into it. But first of all, like we always do, what are we playing? What you playing, man? I am playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Okay. Um, Forget what the I forget what the tag is. Okay, is it on? Uh, is it three DS? Three DS. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Handhelds are really stepping it up, man. It is. Mobiles. Um, I'm still playing my Vita. You know, a little bit. I've actually been playing a lot of Madden lately. Uh, but that yeah, but some. Uh, they, hey, man, they cut the check. They cut uh, the check. They, 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 they cut the check. Cut me Okay. Hey, man, they, they, I'm working on it. Okay. They, they the brand is strong, man. The brand is very strong right now. I'm trying to get it in. You know, the brand. You see it? The brand is strong, man. But um, Madden Record came out today. Yeah, uh, uh, pretty. Bioshock. Bioshock came out today. Bioshock's huge. Man. Yes. Bioshock is the truth. Sixty bucks, man, for all that love. Yes, and that's a uh, yeah, yeah, and that's that's what Sony is priding themselves on now is remakes and uh, delays. Yeah, well, so <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a little jab, that's yeah. a little kidney punch right there. Well, hey, you yeah, get it out. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're gonna get it all out. We're gonna get it. Trust and believe. Yeah. That's just a light one right there. Um, but I'm trying to think what else I'm is out. Give you some ammo too. Yeah, yeah. I'm give you, some ammo. you should, because it's hard for you to defend. I'm glad you came in with that mindset today. Because yeah. if you came in with another, there's any way of saying like, oh, you're gonna defend it. But you know what though, man? I really, in all seriousness, like I really am wondering, like what, like it reminds me of Sony's early playstation 3 time when they got real arrogant yeah. and they were just doing silly stuff that's kind of what it reminds me of we'll, we'll get into it okay, okay um but yeah so i'm playing madden you know what's um funny? still playing uh yoshi's island on, on snes but what's funny i only told you one game that i was playing right yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so hold on so you so no man's buy is done are you done with no, are you done with no man's buy so let me tell you, let me tell you what happened right okay okay so <laughs> yes, I get to <laughs> I get to this galaxy, right? Okay, and there's like this line that tells you, like, okay, you go. This is the galaxy you go to. This is the path for the uh, to get to the center of the uh, universe. Okay, so I get to the last galaxy. Uh huh. No more lines. So you know, what? I'm like, all right, I'm gonna save for this. I'm gonna uh, power down and bring it up the next day. Okay. I load it up, man, and I still got uh -oh. a ways to go. Uh oh. Okay, go ahead. So I'm at the point where I'm kind of frustrated. So I'm okay. like, I'm galaxy hopping, I'm cheating, uh -huh. I'm doing everything I can to get to the center of the galaxy. Oh, so you're trying to skip parts at this point? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I mean, I have a, a, a routine now to get unlimited money. That's not hard. Okay. But my patience is wearing very thin <laughs> so because are, I'm not to that center. So at this point, are you just trying to get it over with? I'm trying to get it over with, man. Okay. It's like, you know how like, you have that 
dog that's like 15 years old. That's uh-huh. and he seems struggling. He can't eat his food. He can't keep it down. Uh-huh. And you just want to put him out of his misery. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do when that man stops. So you're just trying to get it done. I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to get to uncharted floor. But I need to clean, clean my, clean my palate. Okay. Get it out of there. I want you to get finished with it. I don't know. I know you said last week you were you were missing. You had some things going on, and um, you watched and listened to the pod last week, but you skipped a part that me and Kev talked about it. Jay, go ahead and just finish it. Just get go watch go watch the video. Don't even finish it at this point. I have to. How many hours are you in right now? Man, it's something crazy. So are you are you are you officially ready to say it's no man's buy? <sighs> no, no. Are you saying that just to spite me? No, no. I'm okay, like, all right, okay. It's good uh-huh. but you gotta be patient though it's, it's not for everybody it's not for everybody yeah. okay all yeah. right i mean i'm trying to clean the palette out man final <laughs> fantasy 15 is coming down the pipeline that's another game that's coming gears of war is coming oh man there's some other games coming man it's is gonna gears november gears is october are you serious yes october either october i don't fact check okay yeah. so i don't know I, yeah all i know is when i log when i log into my that xbox that. it's there yeah. <laughs> You know, that's what I know. It's there. And Marcus Phoenix has a gold Lancer because I pre-ordered it. Did you? Yes. Destiny comes out next week. The expansion for that. I'm not looking forward to that. Are October you getting it? on the Gears. Gears like so I pre-ordered okay. it. I'm not sold on it. I don't like them disrespecting us by putting new skins on there. That's. On old characters. But that's that's an MMO, though. That's no, right. The MMOs do that. No, they don't. This not, one does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because this is the only one that does that. I'm going to tell you, I, I haven't played it in almost a month and a half. And that's... That's long for you. Yeah, that's, I, almost that, like that's very long. Years. Like, I played, um, I take it back. I played for a hot second. Me and Lil Nadir jumped in mm-hmm. last weekend and did some um, did some bounties. And I had to, like, relearn how to shoot, like, get my shooting down and stuff. Because it's, it's, a, it's a rhythm game. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to. You have to definitely. It's a rhythm game. Speaking of rhythm, uh-huh. I saw that NBA 2K trailer. Oh, that other one comes out Friday. That makes you just want to write that check. Dude, I, I pre-ordered it just from re- watching the, uh, the trailer. It's ridiculous. It gets I, better. I almost had sixty dollars on my check uh-huh. direct deposit it into two K. As right you now. should, as you should I have. I almost had that direct deposit. Two K gets it. I'm t- and this year, I'm t- you know, I know it's hard. I know you think that EA cut the check, but the sports games this year have been pretty good. They've been pretty good. Madden's yeah. good, and uh, you know, um, 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 you know, two K. Madden's but, price dropped though, right? Madden dropped to forty dollars now. That's more enticing. It still won't be purchased, but it's it's enticing. <laughs> It is so you still not sold? I'm not sold. Okay, I'm gonna get you and Kev on board, man. Shout out, K, shout out to Kev, man. I know you at home, man. Are you uh, you watching yeah, everything, man? Up. Resting up, man. Rest up, man. Drink some water too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's get into it, man. We got video game news to talk about today. Tokyo Game Show. You want? Okay. You want to throw your shot? No, no. Go ahead. No, no. Okay. My shot is not a shot. It's gonna be a rant, and we're gonna yeah. talk about this for a while. Yeah, we gotta let it out. Yeah, we gotta let it gotta out. Let it That's out. why it's, it's kind of glad that you know Kev's not here because he would have over. He would have definitely had a lot of talk about with uh, RG three. I'll, I'll do a little bit of rant for you for RG three, Kevin. RG3, but um, what's that? it's Corn Bob. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Robert Griffin the third, aka Man Bun. Um, but what do you got about Tokyo, yeah, Tokyo Game Show? Nothing, man. There's nothing going on at Tokyo Game Show. We found out that Kingdom Hearts got mm-hmm. delayed. Okay. Um, the Last Guardian got delayed. Mm-hmm. I, got, I got something to talk about with that. It's crazy, though. Just don't say a release date. Like, just leave the release date alone. <laughs> just keep it gone. Let and me, then uh, when uh, it comes, it comes. Let me talk about Last Guardian for a second. Okay. Do you know that game has been in development for 10 years? Yeah. Absolutely. That game has been, we saw it at E3 2014 as if it was about to come out. Yes, correct. What is the issue? It has to be some game-breaking bugs. But the game doesn't look that gra- graphically intensive. Mm-hmm. Exactly. To have, to have anything on the performance side go on. Exactly. But at this point, if, if the game comes out and it's not, and, and, and let's say it's underwhelming, okay? At this point, everyone knows the the the, the spec. As far as took it, to, it took ten years to make. At this point, it's been developed for ten years. Is that game going to be is going to blow us away as if a game has been in development for ten years? No, I don't think so I, either. I never played the old games. Mm-hmm. Those were good. Were they Shadow of the Colossus? But they were on PS2, right. so we got a long like we have a, we are a long ways away from that. So, what do we think? I mean, this game, like I said, has been in development for ten years. So I had some notes written down on this, right? Okay. So it got pushed back, got delayed to December sixth, two thousand sixteen. 
I'm okay with delays. I'm on record as saying I'm I'm okay with delays. I'm okay with pushing the game back if you want to try to make it better. I am not okay with a ten year span on developing a game. Now they said it they, was ten years straight, kind of wasn't it? Yeah, but they cut the team down. Then they added some people. Then they re so they shifted some of the guys to another game. Okay. Yeah, but they, they they spent so much money in e, on E3 two years ago about this game. Like, remember we yeah. left and we were like it looked pretty good. Yeah, you we, know. What did we see? We saw because that's when we saw Last Guardian, Uncharted. Yep. And um, what was the third one? It no, it wasn't God of War. Zero it, Dawn. It was, it was Zero Dawn. Yeah. So those three games, because we we, we got to watch it. Was, yeah. It was in the, uh, the studio. Those, yeah, those three so it's like they, we thought it was gonna be done because yeah. Horizon is coming out, which got delayed again, which I don't understand that. It kills me these delays. Like just it's Sony delays though. Huh? It's Sony Why delays do that, man? because it's Why Sony. No, because I'm gonna tell you why. We're going I'm gonna get on my soapbox today. You're gonna feel me on some of these things. Pause. Yeah. The fact that Sony is Sony has such an arrogant stance right now, and it sickens me as a gamer. And that's the part that's getting on me. But hold on, before we okay. go on about that, yeah. let me talk about this this Last Guardian for a second. Okay. All right. So Sony's treatment of exclusives right now during this cycle has been a joke. Yes, absolutely. Okay, it's absolutely. been a complete joke through this through this whole cycle. <laughs> yeah. All right, and they've been remakes and delays. Has all has all it's been? Do you know in the fourth quarter this year, the only two um, exclusives Sony has is Gravity Rush and The Last Guardian. In the fourth quarter. And Gravity quarter. Rush Two, I believe, got pushed back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's yes. Hilarious. What is Sony? What are, what is their what is their game plan right now? Like I don't I don't really kind of don't understand I, what they're doing. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I yeah. mean. The Last Guardian makes zero sense. Gravity Rush is another game that's not graphically intensive. I right. mean, you honestly could keep the same uh, physics engine that you used on the first one mm -hmm. and just port it over to the second one. Because, yeah. I mean, you're doing the same thing. Gravity so, Rush could have easily been a Games for Gold. You know, I don't think that game was even... It's not. It's a Vita game yeah. that they're trying to re, re out. Yes. Re out, out. Like, even the whole thing, like, I read about um, I Am Set Soon that didn't come out on the Vita. Because it wasn't, it didn't run good on the Vita. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like it's another rant I have about with Sony is like, I have said Sony that was Square Enix though. But but it also but it was something that was coming out on the Vita though. I mean, like even if you have all these things mapped out, yeah. Quit announcing these games for the Vita and they don't come out. And it's like but they it, was, it came out on the Vita, but in Japan. In Japan, but they're announcing it like we want it too. Yeah, absolutely. you know, like it was different for the for the Japanese Vita versus the. I mean, maybe it was licensing. You know. I think Japanese the Japanese Vita is different than ours. I think they have a, a more it, updated one. It is, I believe. It is. It's um, but that that's the new because you know there's new Vitas coming out. Yeah. The new colors. To the Vita, man. Yeah, I, that's one thing. The, the Vita's a good Vita, system, yeah. but they ain't slick because the Vita got hacked, and that's why they come up with a new one. Did it? Yeah. Well, you know, I've been running SNES on mine. Well, I thought you had the PlayStation PSP. The, yeah. The PSP. No, but I've been playing everything on the Vita. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's what I've been playing everything on. It, on that screen, it looks amazing. Yeah, oh yeah, um, that's cheese. Yeah, so do you have the old school one or do you have the new school? One? I have the 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 second edition one. Okay, okay. So it's not the newer one. Okay. It's so not the newer. We have the same one. Yeah, we do have the same one. Okay. Yeah, same okay. one I took to E3 this year. Um, but yeah, man, I just don't I don't get what Sony is like thinking right now. So and it and it brings me to my my main point I want to talk about today. Yeah, absolutely. This PS4 Pro. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Jay, you got to explain to me who is this marketed for? It is marketed to people that did not pick up the PlayStation 4 mm -hmm. on the first go around. It's, I think it's marketed. They're trying to get ahead of the curve with the HDR mm -hmm. stuff. And let's talk about HDR real quick because everybody's touting that like like you need it. It's almost like they're saying you need it to sell the system. It's the next. It's the next tech. It's but it's not really that. Like, it's have not, you seen it yet? I have seen it. It's yeah, amazing. It's amazing. But is it needed though? If, if if looking amazing is needed, then yes. <laughs> yeah. look, look what it does though. Uh huh. It's all it's doing is trying to uh, present a similar range of luminescence to the experience through the human visual system. Or Absolutely. Does it? But that's but, the same thing that 1080p did. Really, yeah. But are you really going to appreciate? Uh huh. That, you are until you see it. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. You actually can see it when but, you see it upscaled. Even even upscaling on like uh, my buddy of mine has Madden. He has a 4K TV. He has a One S. Yeah. Uh, the S One. The One S. I'm sorry. And the game looks visually better. You know the resolution is higher, so it's more pixels. Right. What it looks sharper. He has a 55. Okay. So that's what sold me. When I told you guys I'm 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 stepping it up. Yeah. After seeing that, and he didn't even he had HDR. And it was an older TV. 
it was older. It was a first, on the early edition 4Ks. That one of the ones that originally had for um, HDR initially. Okay. So it isn't, it isn't even one of the newer TVs, and it looked amazing. Um, but so H- let me ask you this: uh-huh. If Madden was the Madden last year, but you had an HDR TV, that would not change the fact that Madden was garbage. No, no, the game itself is still bad. That game was bad. So but, that's what I don't get. No, that's, no, it's not that. Hold on, before we go on, you're not gonna, you're not going to lose a lot of this. Yeah, one. No, Hold I'm on, before here. before here. before I'm we go, here. let's 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 rewind a little okay. bit. Is HDR needed? That's that's a relative point because everyone's going to HDR. All right, but here's the thing: is everyone though? This, the original Sony PS4 is going is having an HDR patch as well. Right, but it's not required of the game. I'm not saying what. Then what HDR. is the okay? Their market. What they. This is what this is what the guy from um from from Sony said. All right, quote: This upgrade is to compete with PC gamers because research has shown that halfway through the the life cycle of consoles, PCs are the biggest competition. Unquote. Okay, so and also with the the 4K PS Pro, it it basically works like a 1080p graphics card. But, but Jay, then it can upscale a little bit. But Jay, but Jay, if well, that no, that's, that's their quote, right? Right, right. The specs on that PS4 Pro are like almost five iterations or five life cycles of PC, but behind. Yeah, yeah. You're, so you're, if you're if you're trying to compete with PCs, right? Right, right. That PS4 Pro is not the answer. No, yeah, I know. I was just. You're saying you're just adding on to what I was saying. I was just saying like they're touting it as. Oh, you're agreeing with me. Yeah. yeah, Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. But the thing that got me, but then I had to sit back and think about it is no 4K Blu-ray support. What is that? And that is Sony's. I think they're betting on that their ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the 4K Netflix, and then they're betting on people downloading the movies from the PlayStation Store. Well, see, that's you can get a 4K movie from the PlayStation Store. And just save it in your library. I thought about that. But here's, and, here's the problem with that. Okay. The problem with that is everyone streams. Okay. Right. The streaming, uh, you, and, and you guys, I'm going to put a link, and when I put this on YouTube, I'm going to put it in the bottom. If you watch it, here's a video of a guy who did a comparison. If you watch a 4K um, Ultra you know, HD Blu-ray movie mm-hmm. versus streaming in 4K, you lose so many packets that it's like night and day. Well, yes, yeah, UDP, though. But you lose so many packets when you're streaming a 4K because, first of all, Everyone's gonna have to have super internet in right. order to be able to stream, you know, the, the way that it's intended to be. Because when you have it on the disc, it's right there for you. It's spinning there. I didn't. I don't understand why Sony didn't put that on the PS4 Pro. And it's their baby. They own the patent for that. That is yeah, Sony's okay, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like Microsoft physically pays them for it yeah, to put it into the S, one the yeah. One S. Yeah. So why wouldn't Sony put it on their own system? I think they're trying to tackle another market with this what's that i think they're trying to get to the people that are doing all digital and there has to be a buffer there has to be a buffering system that they're working out with netflix to enable netflix to take up a larger amount of bandwidth Mm -hmm. to get that data from the system to or from netflix to the system so you thought your servers but we don't you know if we knew that if if they can if, if that was the case then i would give them a pass on it but as of right now, we right. don't we don't know. Like right, these yeah. are very inferior specs. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, spec wise, I mean, video game people, we are spec, you know, junkies. That's not a good system. It's not a good system in comparison to a PC. A PC, yeah, absolutely. I mean, but if you come out and you say, "This is what we're competing with," and then you release that, right? You're going to the you're going to a gunfight with a knife. Absolutely. You know. But you know what? It's funny because. I mean, we know this stuff, but yeah. like pe- average individuals might not know this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the background on like its comparison to a PC. Mm-hmm. Somebody might see the quote that you just read and say, "Oh, snaps, bro." You they know what? Into, like, I, I agree with you on that. Bro. But eventually, people are going to see it. They're going to see the difference right, between right. the two. And when you play a game on PC, like Batman, for instance, Arkham Knights, right? Yeah. You put it in, you play it. You see the smoke effects. You see the rain. You yeah. see. You know, just the the way the light shines, everything like that. Like, you're like blown away by it. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's cheap. and that's the thing. Like, I don't think that you know Sony thought this out. I think they shot themselves in the foot by releasing their specs because Microsoft got word of it, yeah. and that's why they pushed back that Scorpio. Oh yeah, they're you like, know, let's, let's make this. The Xbox yeah, the Xbox S will hold us over exactly until. I don't think Sony's done, but I think they need to worry about. Producing quality content and getting some release dates. They, yeah, they got to get some kind of exclusives done, man. Like okay. something, because like this whole life cycle, Sony's exclusives have been a joke. They 
that yet. You know? We're not the whole life cycle. What games have we have we had so far? Bloodborne, Uncharted Four. What else? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Rocket League was an exclusive for PlayStation Four, but it came out for everything. Okay. So All right. So yeah, there, there's been nothing. I mean, they banked on Microsoft's marketing department messing up and coming out with the Connect. Yeah. We know that once Phil Spencer took over, they focused on games. They've been focusing hardcore on just the gamers. Yeah. And that gears is a problem. Yes, that, that gears, gears is a problem. And it's coming out at the right time. Yeah. Too, to yeah. be a problem. Absolutely, and that's the thing. I think that. Um, Sony is definitely putting out the system this year, which was kind of a, a weird thing to me, because it's weird all around. It is the, everything with their movements right now is very weird. And you know, I I am the Xbox fanboy, but I own both systems. I love technology. I think at the end, yeah. I want all gamers to win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. But even like right now, it's like if you're going to choose which system to buy, you can't go wrong with either one. But I just wonder. Like right now, like did, we saw God of War at E3, right? Did yes. it look good? It looked amazing. Then what is the need for the for the PS4 Pro? Exactly. That's, it, to me, it's what a is the need? Of exactly. What is the need for it? Because you can't come out and say because that's the thing where I would give you the point where you said that maybe they're just for people who haven't bought it, but they come out with the PS4 Slim. And the PS4 Slim to me is a waste. Well, the PS4 Slim is for your point, I think, for people who haven't bought the original system. They're marketing this new PlayStation as if something that. Is totally new, you know. It's just, it's just totally, you know, the new, the next gen, the next thing. And I don't think they're, not, I don't think they're doing that. Though. They need to just explain the fact it's for VR. That's what it's that, for. I, I, that, that is true. You know, that's you know what? that's what you do. Side note on this, mm -hmm. I know why Final Fantasy 15 got pushed back because it's supporting this new HDR crap. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. I like it. Just like it's like a figured out the Da Vinci code. But but that's like, the thing though. That's the thing that even puzzles me even more. If the fact that the that they're pushing all these games back, they're remaking some of this stuff with H, in HDR. But the original PS4 is going to be in HDR too with the patch. Right. So what once again, what is double, the use? Double GPU. Which doesn't mean anything cuz you don't really need it to run the game. They did a comparison I read on um I read that they compared the uh GTX 1070, which isn't the best video card right now. It's a middle-range video okay. card versus that PS4 Pro specs, right? Mm -hmm. The 1070 beats it by almost thir almost 72%. Yeah, you know, now mind you that card is $400. Yeah. So, it's you know, PC actual. gaming, yeah, PC gaming is different. It's nothing like just buying a system, putting the game in and it runs. Right. So, it does take a little bit of legwork for a PC gamer to play. But I'm really puzzled by what Sony's doing right now. It, it doesn't make any sense. So, piggyback on that. A little bit more puzzling, okay? okay? So, you know, Bethesda came out and just threw Sony under the bus because for the mods, for the mods. so Sony <laughs> Sony is not allowing uh, Skyrim or uh, well, I thought it was a joint decision no it was Sony's decision but that's what came out and said it was Sony who's who put the put the axe to it so it's yeah. it's Skyrim and it's, it's um Fallout. and Fallout the yeah, Fallout yeah, mods yeah. Yep. so they they said they didn't want them in there I don't I don't even know what the finesse is on that like I don't know I, if it's a money thing I think it's the architecture though I think because Xbox One works on the Microsoft 10 or Windows architecture, uh -huh. it's easier to do mods than to do mods on the PS4. I think it might be a money and a resource issue. You know what, man? I really just don't. like. I think, how would you get the mods to the system? No, you're right. It, I, I, I firmly believe you. But I, I think that they need to just scrap every idea on trying to win and just... Make even make the same system and throw one logo on one, throw a logo. Pay Microsoft for the for the Windows patent. You put Windows on your system. Microsoft's already paying you for the Blu-ray drives. It's a hand in hand thing. We'll work something. We'll barter something. You know, you buy lunch one week, I'll buy lunch the next week. Right, right, right. And let's just all play in harmony because Xbox. I mean, not Xbox. Sony also said that they they put the kibosh to the cross platform play for Rocket League. Yeah. But whereas Microsoft, well, I mean, saying that. You know, Xbox is going to be able to play with PC gamers is kind of a, a moot point because they're all one and the same. Right, right. But yeah. I don't understand why they wouldn't jump on board with that. Sony, man. What's going what? on? Like you said, they might be too cocky. They might be a little I, too cocky. And remember, that they were like this on the PS3 days. Yeah. But you they know? Were, I don't think they had that. I think the 360 had sold more than the PS3. Yeah. I'm almost sure. The 360, the, the, the reason why the, the, the one, the, um, the race with the PS3 and the 360 was so big, too. 360 had a uh, all of them were breaking. 
Remember, everybody yeah. had the Red Ring of Death, but they still were winning. Wrapped it in that towel. Oh, man. Man, <laughs> man that was that was such a look. I mean, anytime you had to turn on the system and pray that it didn't go red. Right. Like, oh, man, the Red Ring of Death was probably the worst thing ever, man. That's like, <laughs> that like a flat tire. Yeah, no, that was worse than a flat tire. That was like your engine just blowing because your system was done. Yeah, it was done. Once you saw the Red Rings, it was a wrap. You know what's interesting? You know who the winner is? Who's that? Nintendo. Absolutely. And that, and that and X Men, <laughs> it's got some people stoked. Like, it does. Because it, it's mm-hmm. almost the mystery of it, mm-hmm. what it looks like, how it's going to perform. Mm-hmm. Nintendo knows what they're doing, man. Yeah. Because it's, it's not going to be at the Tokyo Game Show, of course. Yeah. Um, they'll probably do a Nintendo Direct. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it'll be this year. I think it'll be like first quarter next I, year. I think it'll be first quarter next year. But I think what Nintendo has right, though, bro, is that they yeah. they never have cared about graphically right. just being the best. <laughs> right. They have they have IPs that sell. Heck, they put the Mario game, the Mario Run game, at the Apple conference, and it took over more than the, the iPhone Seven did. Right. You know, everyone was talking about that. Yeah. Nintendo is definitely poised to win. Not so much win the the war. They won't because this war is over with. I think Sony has yeah. so much of a big a big lead but i want in the end like we always say i want gamers to win man and i think they will i think that nx man is going to surprise a lot of people yeah because it's going to get to a point where if you want power get a pc Mm -hmm. but if you want creativity who are you going to go to because who makes the most creative games yeah yeah side note okay something really creepy Mm -hmm. there's this game for the uh for psvr oh i'm not playing that Yo, that game was giving people heart problems, man. No, what? no, no, not the scary game. Oh, okay. Just, I'm called, sorry. It's uh, called Summer Lessons or something like this. What? It's, <laughs> it's like you're a, you're a person and you just spend your entire days with this Japanese girl. What? I know, right? It's, it's freaking weird. Yo, cats need to get out the crib, man. <laughs> they do. They need Listen, to I'm all about man. video games, but I love my wife. Yeah, right? I need to get, you need to get out the house and do absolutely. things. Absolutely. You cannot have a virtual friend. Absolutely not. That's it's a, going to sell it there. Really? Yeah, oh, it's gonna sell in Japan, man. Oh, it's those gonna sell. Yeah, those cats. Well, in Japan, they got a big. It was a big documentary on that. Yeah. Where like, it, for lack of better terms, they were just like, I'd rather just have virtual reality than go be with a person. Like the dudes right. was like, I'd rather be with this virtual chick. Yeah. And uh, waifus, nobody man. can love me better than me. <laughs> and uh, that's nuts. Yeah, and that's, that's what nuts. it was. But but in in turn, there was no kids, man. Yeah. There's no babies being born. Fun. And I am so stoked for Gears of War. You should be. October. But I'm going to tell you, Gears of War is making me push this 4K barrage for me, though. Oh, it's going to be cheap. Because remember, we saw it. it remember, looked, remember, you remember yeah, seeing oh, it on yeah. that monitor. Oh, yeah. That was 4K. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, that vision has been in my brain. And I did a bad job of explaining it to my wife. I explained it to her today. Yeah. She thought it was one of the bigger TV. But yeah. when I explained it to her what 4K was, what it does, what it does and how, like, basically, because we, when we first got married, we moved in together. We, um... We had, she had tube TVs. I thought the TVs were going to eat me. Okay. okay. She had poltergeist <laughs> televisions. A t- I don't know. It was like, it was like 80, it was like 8,000 pounds. It was a 32 like, inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a year <laughs> off my life moving it. All right. But, but I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Um, that hurts. But what I'm saying though, is when we, we got together, we, we bought our 60 inch, right? right? And we brought it home, had 120 Hertz, 60 frames per second, blah, blah. Yeah. It was like looking at, you would have thought that whoever the actor was, was with us. Like right. we, that was a family member at that <laughs> point. So when I explained yeah. it to her that 4k is four times that. She was on board. Oh, absolutely. You know? So I definitely am that that Gears of War gaming in 4K is what I'm looking forward to. The fact that, and I'm actually going to play it on PC. You know, I'm I'm probably going to get a 1070 and play it on my PC. And I'm having it on Xbox, too. I want to get on Xbox One S. I'm trying to overhaul everything. I'm flipping everything, man. man. I'm listening. You come back. Yes, I'm doing it all. I'm I'm just just doing it all. A little beast out. But, um... So 4K has got me pushed out, but that that Gears of War is going to be amazing. You Gears know? of War is going to be phenomenal. Yeah. I can't, I, man. So are you going to buy one uh, um, a PS4 Pro? Uh, I'm on the fence, but probably not. Okay. The reason being is, and I'm, this is another reason I'm somber today, man. Okay. So remember we were talking earlier, and I was like, let me let me uh, verify my TVs real quick. Your TV's not HDR? No. Oh. Either one of them. Oh, oh. Yes, save me. <laughs> The, Flip uh, Adelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, get your PowerPoint together. Explain it to the wife. I'm gonna tell you, it's nothing worse than a married man going to explain to your wife that you want to get something new and she yeah. shoots you down. Yeah. Because when I, I mean, I, I was somber for like three. Days. I had to go do research, and I'm like, you know what? It dawned on me. I didn't do a good job explaining what it is. Yeah, you got you to. You know, man. you better go, man. I, I, I have to. You have, I have to. to, man. For the culture, you have to do it. It, it hurt because the 
the what I have in the game room now mm-hmm. is a forty inch, and it's ultra high def, mm-hmm. and it just has upscaling. So it's Whoa. like you're there. But so it's not, but, not but it's not four K. It's four K. Is it four K? Samsung calls their four K ultra high def. But it's not four K. But it is four K. Okay. It's, it's it's the same thing. But it's just, not four K people. They, it is. <laughs> they just call they call it ultra high def. Do they call it four K? Huh? Did it call it 4K? No, that's it's not 4K, 4K, sir. Sir, it's, it's their name for 4K. <laughs> I'm not buying it. When I come over, you have an inferior TV. You'll see the 65 inch uh, love over here, and I'll say, oh, well, you don't have that. So, yeah, I'm going to swag on you. Um, hey, give me a cot. Right give me a cot. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I, I just really, though, on all, in all seriousness, man, this, this week has been very puzzling for me. The Because, um, like I said, I want all gamers to win, but I, I don't really understand what Sony was doing. And their conference, man, was a huge. Dude, man. it was like watching a family member die. It like, it's so seriously, bad. I'm just watching, like, will you die already? Yeah, like, I mean, get out of here. They were TV. they were talking, and it was like, they they didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, it was like, they was, like it was forced to do their host. Absolutely. Yeah. But then when he, he comes out, the guy comes out, I don't remember the dude's name. He has he looks like a, a, a funky a car salesman. He had a short sleeve dress shirt on, too, which yeah. I never trust people with short sleeve dress. Do Not ever trust people with short sleeve dress shirts out there, people. But, um... But yeah, so he's out there and he's holding it. And he's you know he's got this big smug you know smile. It's unco- it was uncomfortable. Smile. And it looked first of all the the one S got smaller, but right. the but the PS4 Pro <laughs> yeah. got bigger. Like, and it does almost exactly the same thing. <laughs> exactly the one <laughs> S. The one, <laughs> you can't defend this today. You gonna get this work? You gonna like have a hamburger. <laughs> it looks like a hamburger. Right? Yes. Like, they, Two balls, paws, and a patty in the middle. What like, is it though, man? Like, what is what are they doing right now, nothing, bro? Man, it's the size of a small child. Okay, it's, you're right. It's I don't you're know, right. man. Yeah, I don't. I, if you were looking at me for answers today, I don't have answers, man. Okay, I good. And I'm glad you came here with an open mind. I'm glad yeah, we could talk I'm, about I'm this, honest, man. man. And I'm, I'm glad honest. Kevin isn't here because he would be over there trying to defend this mess, and he <laughs> would he would he would definitely man. he would try to he would try to, but um. I don't get it, man. I just don't. I really don't get what they're doing right now. And I'm not saying Microsoft. If you're a Microsoft, if you're if you're just sitting back with your hand on your chin, like yeah, they did it. They shot themselves in the foot, like yeah. the Dallas Cowboys. So they're ready. Um, but we'll see. Microsoft could blow it too. They could. They're known for it. Yeah. No, they're not known for it. They did it that one time. Well, hey. Ever since the God Phil Spencer, I'm gonna get a Phil Spencer tat. Because ever since he's been back, I want he's I want to. Some changes, man. He has been making some changes, man. He's been doing well, man. He's, sh- he's shifting it. I yeah. like what he's doing. I do. I like what he's doing. So, um, oh, what's yeah? Gameplay footage of uh, Metal Gear Survive is going to be a Tokyo game show. Yeah, that, we probably don't care. Listen, man. Out there. Listen, that, that game, man. Like, it, I, I'm glad Kevin's not here to talk about that because he was ready to fight over yeah, that. Yeah, Kevin was about to go to blood. Yeah, like he went to like game. like circa 95 wrestling stance on us on that one because, <laughs> yo, like no one understands where that's coming from, man. Yeah. Like, Especially with Kojima making his game, and we know that game is going to be phenomenal. And you know, let's say, let's say even stop talking about that because Kojima, <laughs> Kojima came out and talked more about his game. Yeah, it's an open world co-op shooter. Whoa, that ties people together. Whoa, it's weird because the translator had trouble translating it. Uh-huh. But that's basically the gist of it. Okay, and speaking of translators, shout out to Miyamoto. Whenever, like, quit trying to talk in English, man. He's yeah. been doing games for a long. Time. We yeah. was at that Apple conference. It was, it was. I didn't want to talk about that. But anyways, so what else is going on, man? We got, um, we got Note Sevens blowing up. Note Seven blowing up. Yeah, they Apple's recall Apple. Apple's Apple. You know, it's kind of disrespectful that Apple didn't even bring up the Note Seven. Nah. And they could have. They could have took the low road, like Motorola. Motorola took a shot at. But Apple. at that time, but, the, they weren't blowing up. They weren't. They weren't Molotov cocktails at that point. They were, but they, they were just. They just weren't nukes left. Well, no, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. No, it they didn't do the recall yet. When they didn't I, do the full recall. You know, they you did. might be right. Yeah. No, when the press conference came out. When the press conference came out, the Samsung eyes were blowing up. They weren't Molotov cocktails yet. Yeah, they were. I don't I'm think they were. Sure. I don't know. I'm not I'm, fact checking like, either. I'm like 100 percent sure. They okay, weren't. I'm not fact checking, but because I think it was the week before that or earlier that week, because they had just done like a small recall. Mm-hmm. And I tell you how I know. Samsung owes me some Bluetooths. Oh, and I was calling in, and I'm like, I wonder why these holds are so long. Uh, and that's when I looked up online, and it was like, oh, they're having some issues overseas. I think it was like in Australia or something like that. That was like the first case. Okay. And then gradually, it just starts snowballing. Listen, all you need to do is find out what backdoor salesman they buy their batteries from, and just go get them, man. Oh, it was pure backdoor. It, it definitely it was, was backdoor. Because I don't, we've never had anything like this in our tech. I've been, we we were both in the industry. We don't say yeah. what we do, but we're in the industry, yeah. and in my 13 years I've been with in the industry, I've never heard of a phone just being recalled. 
Completely. Yeah. Completely. Like, you can't buy it. You can't listen. Keep it on your own risk. To the, to the point, the, F, the FDA, is that who's, who's flying the flying thing? Is that FDA? Uh, FCA? So, yeah, yeah. One of them acronyms. They say you have to power your phone down yeah. if you have a Note 7 before you get on a flight. And do yeah, not yeah. turn it on or you will be tackled no. by little midgets or something. Absolutely. Little people, not midgets. Um, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, man. So it's just weird right now. It is. It's, it's weird. Very weird. It's weird. But that's all we had. I had tech wise. You anything else? Uh, nothing tech wise. I think we got everything gaming wise. Okay. Um, NFL started. NFL, yes. Yes, with 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 me playing Madden and my Eagles are playing. My Eagles. Hey, we played the Browns. It was a buy. Yeah. I'll yeah, take absolutely. it. I'll absolutely. take it. Carson Wentz, base Wentz came out his, there. It gets his confidence up. It does get his confidence up. It's like when you go to a gym. And, like, you were playing with your dad, and it was with the adults, and you didn't play well, but then you go play with your friends, and you play well. And you're balling out, yeah. Yeah, the Browns were my friends. Browns so are funny, man. The Browns, are, the, Brown, the Browns stadium was built on top of a pet cemetery. It had to be. Yeah, because it's a factor of sadness. LeBron can't bring the stink off of Cleveland with no, the Browns. He, he brought off half of Cleveland. That other half with the Browns, though, listen, yeah. that, that will never be happening. No, ever. You know? It's, cra- it's crazy, too. And I'm going to say this. I believe in Hugh Jackson, though. I think he can make a change there because he's overhauling listen, everything. Hugh Jackson's on the clock right now. Oh, he is. He, is. he has <laughs> he, two years. When, listen, Hugh Jackson has a flask on the sideline, yeah. all right? And, and, <laughs> <laughs> it is in his chest pocket. And he's sipping <laughs> it. By, by, week, by week seven, yeah. Hugh Jackson's headset is going to be playing jazz because it's not, not going to matter. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Listen, it's not going to matter. It's the Browns, man. Yeah. He knew when he took the job. Like, listen, babe, we're going to we're going to lease. Tonight. Yeah, we're going to lease. Yeah. All right, we're not going to buy. Everything. We're going to lease everything because we're going to be gone. Yeah. Well, I got about two years, babe. That's what he told the wife. I got about two years, and then we're out. Yeah. Where do you want to go on vacation? Exactly. Right. Listen, Roger Griffin III is our quarterback, babe. Corn Bob's our quarterback. Shoot, they should have just went with uh, golf for uh, Lawrence. No, nah, oh, yeah, they passed on them. Yeah, they right. they passed. They could have had them, but well, who, wait, who went second? Was it golf or no? Wentz? No, Wentz went second because the Eagles had the second pick. Oh but yeah, I, yeah, okay. I forget what they did. They got the they Eagles. Traded. They traded to get the. Browns. the they traded the Browns. Yeah, they traded an extra pick. They traded more picks. Good. Yeah, because we gave. Cause a, they're trying to overhaul. And then we ended up getting a pick back from the um, Vikings for trading baggy sleeves. Uh, uh, what's my <laughs> man's name? Sam Bradford, Indian Jesus. We traded him to the Vikings because their their quarterbacks knee just gave out. He gave up the, his knee gave up the ghost, but you know it's funny. Bradford's not even starting. I know. Listen, man, do you know the stats that Carson Wentz put up this week? Um, he had over two hundred yards and two touchdowns. Do you know Sam Bradford has never done that, and no yes. picks. Well, he's, he's been, he was injured for a while. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, don't care. yeah. Sam Bradford made a ton of money after Vic left. Man, what did y'all have? No, we didn't. We didn't have anything. Yeah. We didn't have anything. Vic fight, no, bring Vic back, man. But we don't talk about the past, man. Listen, yeah, we don't. <laughs> like, Mike Vic was good for one year, all right? Two, so people, two years, two years. Oh, a year and a half. Before he started right, playing yeah, that that, uh, that hero ball, I wanted Mike Vic out of there, you know, because he, he started playing hero ball. He wanted everything to be a touchdown. I wanted him gone. But yeah, um, Reed was like, man, I'm just letting him loose. No, Andy Reid didn't care. Andy Reid was on his way out too. He knew he, he was knew, gone. Yeah, that's what he, he knew he was gone. I don't care. Because he had too he had too many good teams to not win a Super Bowl there, man. Absolutely. That's too like many good ones. A kid that is failing at school mm-hmm. and it's summertime, like just don't go to school. Who yeah, cares? just don't. Well, I'm going to tell you this, man. Back to uh, Corn Bob, though, uh, yeah. a.k.a. Robert Griffin III. Nothing's going to come good of him until he gets a proper Caesar. Until he, gets a, until he gets a proper haircut, nothing good's going to happen. But you know who I blame, though? Who? Besides him? Who? Whoever's braiding his hair. His mom. His mom's braiding yeah. his hair. His mom. His mom should sit him down and say, baby, this ain't the move. Yeah, this you know? is not it. Like right now, my son is growing this little nappy fro, which I hate the nappy fro, by the way. Yeah. He has about a week left before, yeah. I, before I go against get the grain. Yeah. I'm going to go against the grain and Absolutely. just cut it, and at that point he has to get a haircut. Yep. But Absolutely. he has it, and we're like, okay, we're, we're sticking with him. We're like, little Nadir, it's okay. But last week I said, you know what? You look like crap. Yeah. All right? It's getting cut off. Unprofessional. Get That's exactly of what Robert Griffin III's mom should have done. His mans and them should have told him to get his hair cut. You know, it's interesting, too. Mm. When Vic got his hair cut, he played better. Exactly. But I'm Robert telling Griffin's you. Gone, man. That's the Cornwall's key, man. Gone, man. He is gone. <laughs> he might be. Like, his career might be over, though. Oh, uh, it is over. Because he has a shoulder injury. He's out till week eight. Yeah. Yeah. And his second year is not guaranteed. Yeah, Cleveland. he's done. Yeah, he's blocked. He's blocked. Cleveland needs to get JT Barrett. No. I don't know if JT Barrett's a uh, an NFL so quarterback as of yet. They're going to have a big well, test. Sure, is- Car- Cardell is on. Uh, Cardell got picked up by. I want to say the yeah, but Cardell. I don't know, man. I I I root for the Buckeyes. I do want them to make it. I don't know. I always root for black quarterbacks. I want one to break yeah. through the mold. You know, Cam was the one until he starts saying he didn't. He never dealt with racism as a black man. And you say you never dealt with racism. Yeah. You're like a unicorn. So yeah. shut up. 
and I think you, I think you blocked yourself. Um, Completely. But um, so yeah, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Warren Moon was one. Warren Moon was good. Yeah. We never. I mean, that was good. Don, listen, his feelings. Nah, Donovan was okay, man. Like I, as an Eagle fan, I saw every game that came on for the Eagles. So people saw the highlights, but they didn't see the gutter balls that, that he threw okay. before he threw the yeah, touchdowns. I was, I was the ESPN highlights. Yeah, I don't know, but um, so yeah, man, I didn't think we, anything else uh, sports wise. Basketball's coming back soon. Two yes, K's coming 25th. out. I know you're ready for basketball season. That's all you've been talking about. NFL's kind of forgettable to me, and I don't know why it is. Mm. I just don't really care that much about football right now. I know you don't. You've been you've been saying that for a while. I don't know. Once it gets cold, I think it'll do. I think summertime football is different, but once it gets cold, you're more into the the, the football thing, the battle. I think this weekend is a good one for Ohio State because they play yeah, Oklahoma. Seven thirty. Yeah. Box. My Florida State Seminoles play Louisville That's at noon. Yeah, I think the noon start time is going to hurt Florida State more than will Louisville. Louisville got a complete problem at quarterback. Yes. Some dude running around. I can't say what I want, but he, <laughs> you know, he's he's running around. Yeah, you know, and and he's he can throw the ball too. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. Um, what rank are you guys? Are you guys four? Uh, we're three or two. Three. We might be two. Ohio, I think Ohio State's no, – Okay, okay, you guys might be two. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're two. That freshman's playing well. We'll see. I mean, yeah. it's going to be a pretty good week in college football. Some big. I think Notre Dame plays Michigan State. So really, some, this early? Yeah, yeah. They That's try to get them out game. early. That way, if you lose, you can always make your way back up. Notre Dame's already lost one. Yeah, Notre Dame's lost one. But I think uh, Michigan State, you know, their uh, Sparty is definitely trying not to lose. So yeah, we'll they, see. Yeah, they want to get to that Big Ten championship. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, all right, man, music-wise, you might as well get into it, man. We, <laughs> let's get into this music. Oh, gosh. Uh, do you want to go first? Man. How bad? How bad is it gonna be? Mine's bad. Okay. But it's like if we had to go Super Saiyan level, mine's like maybe Super Saiyan level two. All right. Well, I don't think I'm as bad as you. So let me go first. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll go. So the album we reviewed this week is uh, J I D K. I don't know what the I D K stands for. The album is titled though is uh, Empty Blank. Now, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know if uh, where he came from, but I will say he's. <laughs> <laughs> He, re- I'm just gonna write wrote for what I wrote. Okay, so what I wrote my 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 uh, notes I have for him was Kendrick Light. So he's Kendrick Lamar Light, not a bad rapper. His content lacks in some some of the tracks. Like the production wasn't horrible. That's the only bright light of it. I would say the production. The production, yeah, the production wasn't horrible, but the content was really. This album's for a young boy. Gosh, you know, <laughs> words out of my mouth, it's, man. it's almost for a young boy. Absolutely. I, I don't. I can't vibe to a lot of this, and like the album cover threw me off. Yes, you know, because the album yeah, we're on the same page. <laughs> we are yes. the, the album cover had me thinking like, okay, this is gonna be some Rage of Fist. Yep, absolutely. Some you know, revolutionary. Uh, some revolutionary. I'm gonna hear some some get some goosebumps. Talk about some black re- revolutionary stuff. I'm gonna see the angle from a young black man yeah, who's uh, you know trying to make it. That wasn't the case on this album. This album, I don't know what he was going through, but anyways, so back to my notes. Um, the the songs that stood out to me um, was the outro, which was the only song that he talked about black revolution. Um, my wallet, which was funny, it was actually a pretty decent song, and uh, she blocked me, which was pretty cool. I like that one too. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the skits. The skits were hilarious yeah. to me. I thought that they it kind of reminded me of like early Marshall Mathers album. It kind of had that type of vibe. Uh, the songs that this album can do without news for cash can get all oh. the way out of here. Um, he <laughs> talks about a female sending him nude pics and his sexual escapades. And he really gets really deep into about it, like how he's going to eat this or whatever, the groceries, and how he likes the groceries and everything. Listen, man, as a, listen, I mean, as a married man, it's like, I guess that type of stuff comes with the territory. When you're talking about just eating random butts, man, like, I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, keep, like save that, mother. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, definitely just, just keep that all the way out of here. Um, the album, like I said, it's for young boys. I felt like it detached. I detached from the content a lot. I got you know? detached. Yeah. Very detached from the production. Like I said, was decent. Didn't have any funk. It wasn't really heavy on the bass. Like I said, the outro. He touched on the the uh, Black Lives Matter. He touched on some of the the um, the oppression of black people, which I thought was okay. But like I said, the album did not mirror the cover. On the cover, it's him sitting on a on a uh, car, and he, he has a noose around his neck with a white man as a cop holding the noose. So that kind of puts you in. And it's actually you'll see it on the on the stream. But um, I didn't think that that matched it at all. Um, I can see he didn't really have a lot of money on his budget. At you know, he didn't have he didn't he needed that Miguel or a Chris Brown. I'm I don't like uh, every every song nowadays has Chris Brown on it. He could have done well with a with a Chris Brown hook. Feature, yeah. The hooks were bad. Listen, and the homies suck. Okay, the homies suck. 
whoever you had rapping with you on a lot of them, God, like one of, they were not good at all. They just blended with him. The, what even sucked even more than that though was actually the female homies. Like the home, the fe- the female homies you had singing the hooks. Listen, I know there's a lot of people out there that can sing. You could have got somebody on the hook that could have did better than what they He's did. Big enough for people in the block. Man. I, I guess he did, man. But I didn't. I didn't think that. But I can definitely tell that the budget was not open. They did not go into the archives and give that what man the check he needed. What did you have? After listening to it, I think he does have the, the ingredients to have made a good album. I think if he had some kind of features on there, like if he had a, like if he had a track with Kendrick or he had a track with a Schoolboy Q or somebody that you can look at, like, you know what? I don't know who this guy is, but he has a song with Schoolboy Q and he has a song with Miguel or a song with Neo. Somebody on the hook, I'm going to give it a listen. Because bef- besides, when Kevin brung it up, I never knew who this guy was I and I probably would have never. That's what IDK means. I don't know. I that's don't exactly know what it means. You, you know, you might have just, you might have figured it out. It, you cracked the adventure code. You won one today, man. You won one today, man. Give me a high five, man. Yeah, man. You won one today. But the thing about this, though, is um, I don't think a lot of people are going to even know who this album is or who he is. It's very powerful. It, was, it wasn't even in my Google Play mentions so i don't even was if kevin didn't find it yeah. i would have never known who it was kevin kind of struck out with us. he did he did but you know what we had to find something that, to listen to listen and we got it underway but listen i guess i'm a 67 okay okay so yeah. he turned in the paper he passed but he needs to see me after class we need oh, to talk was, yeah because if you're going to pick an album cover like this you better be able to talk about some things Same because yeah. i understand that all album covers don't you know depict what the album's going to be about but that one is so much of a visual just eye popping yeah. thing, you gotta touch on it. Absolutely. All right. Sixty seven what the boy gives it. I'm gonna piggyback off of your your school analogy. Okay. It's like someone turns in a report to you and you read that thesis statement and mm. you're like, This is about to be it. <laughs> Yes. And you get to the end of it and you're like, Have I been sold a bill of goods? <laughs> yes. This is terrible. Yes, yes. Three things I got out of this album. Okay. Sexual escapades. Yes. Money. Yes. And He's got to be, he doesn't look young, but he, this is a young dude album. Sure. And I, if I was a young dude, I still would listen to this album. No. The bars are lackluster. Yes. His flow is terrible. He he has a, a bragging, braggadocious way of going about it. Like he's actually good, uh-huh. but like he doesn't care. Uh-huh. And it's almost like one word that came to me as I was listening to this album is fun. It's almost like he was having fun on the album. Yeah. But he's not good. And that's why he didn't get a budget. The one song he did shine on was when he did the hook. The last song, the outro. The outro was decent. Right. The outro was okay. okay. But I mean, after hearing 12 other songs yes. of pure garbage. It's 11 songs too long. It, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I could have deal with the outro and yeah. called it an EP and called it a day. Yeah. I'm going to go on record and say this. Okay. This album <laughs> is worse than the Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross looks like Jay-Z compared to this dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you hate Rick Ross. Let me tell you something. I mean, <laughs> news with Cap. News for Cap. Uh-huh. Garbage. Yeah. Priorities one. Garbage. My wallet. <laughs> garbage. I like my uh, wallet. The groupie. Garbage. Okay. <laughs> the production saved me on this album because yeah. I'm like this production can carry me through through the next track. Uh huh. Like you were saying, you're looking for. It doesn't even have to be groundbreaking, revolutionary rap. Mm-hmm. Just give me something. Something. And the production carried me through. I was like, okay, this beat is sweet. He's about to drop some fire. Okay. Garbage. Yeah. Now, and it's like. I was going through it. I couldn't even find a song that I was like, you know what? I can stick my hat on this. This is a good song. Right. I couldn't find it, man. Yeah, I was embarrassed. I gotta, to, people were asking like, what album we're reviewing, and I didn't want them to even listen to it. Yeah. Like, don't know what you're talking. Yeah, don't do it. This is yeah. an hour that you cannot get back. Right. That, you know what? You're right. Because I listened to it three times. That's three hours of my life. I can never get it back. Times. I listened to it one and a half times. It, I did it for the culture. The half, the half was yeah. the most painful thing. It was almost like childbirth. So it's safe to say you'll never want to do it again. I will never do this again. This. I, this album is a 33. Okay. Wow. So he came to class. Uh-huh. He's that kid that sits in the back of class. Uh-huh. And you're like, he's got it. Right. He has the look. He has the look. He has this the kid, look. This kid is smart. Yes. And you get his paper, and you're like, yeah. he fooled me. He opens his mouth, and you don't know if he's speaking English. Yeah, that's what the cover That's what the cover did. Yeah. You look at the cover, and you're like, oh, this dude, he's got it. Okay. And I think it's almost to this point these days where if you're not mentioning something like Black Lives Matter, mm. then it kind of means like you're out of touch. With, it, you know what this album? You know what this album is titled? I could say with us, clickbait. It is. This it, album is complete. It's clickbait. Absolutely. It's, where it's like, <laughs> do you want to find out when the end of the world is going to? Yes. And then you click it, and it's like spam. spam, spam, spam yeah, I was expecting to hear some some revolutionary stuff, just something good. What's up, Sega Paul? I see you out there, man. We're getting ready for Rise of Iron, man. We, I, I, I see you out there in the chat. Um, 
But yeah, this album was clickbait, man. It just made it, me upset. It did. It you really know? made me upset because it almost seemed like he was rehashing the same stuff each song. Okay, so it's, get that album out of here. Okay, okay. let's, let's get, just get, ball get it up, get it out of here, dunk it away. I got something I want to talk about. Now that Kevin in here, okay. he isn't here to defend this. What is Lil Wayne talking about? Did you hear what Lil Wayne said? He's never dealt with racism in his life. Lil Wayne said that? Yeah. He's dealing with it now. <laughs> yeah. You can't not deal with it. And he's dealing with it now, probably in the label situation. <laughs> Yo, what is what is what, what's up with Wayne right now, man? That's syrup, man. That syrup is taking it. To Yo, that's syrup. Yeah, I think I think something's wrong. I don't think he's healthy. He can't be. I think something's wrong with him. I might want Wayne gone. I'm not convinced yet. But I thought he is gone. Though. Yeah, but Baby did it. I want him completely gone. Like I want the Assassin's Creed dudes to come get him and take him away. Yeah, I want him Jump gone. Jump off that roof, pull yeah. out that pinky ring stabber, yeah. and get him out of there. Yeah, because he's usually when Wayne is like on, like he was on Skip and. Uh, Shannon Sharp show, which is awful, by the way. Yeah, I, have I you watched never, it yet? I would never watch a show where Skip is the lead. But you know what though, Skip is the lead. But Shannon Sharp actually shines on the show. He actually doesn't. Because I always thought Shannon Sharp had about eight more teeth than most people had <laughs> in their mouth. And I, I listened to him talk, and I used to think like, man, what is he talking about? And I couldn't really make out what he was saying. Yeah. But I will say, Shannon Sharp's been, spit, been spitting some real. I don't like Skip. Yeah, I don't like and Skip. Me either. not liking Skip. Yeah. Makes me not like Shannon. Okay. And so. I, you know what's funny? It's like Skip and S Stephen A. Smith. I don't like Stephen A. Smith now. And nah. I, don't, I never really care for him. But the, them together is watchable sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the two elements that you mix together to put salt. Yeah. Both of them separately will kill you. Yeah. But together it's like, <laughs> all right, I can put this on a piece of meat. I think they ran their pause. course with, uh, yeah, pause. Yeah. I think they, uh, <laughs> they, they ran their course <laughs> together and they tried yeah. to split up and. Skip, uh, Fox opened up the bag for Skip, and, uh, they, you know. Skip is like an unintelligent Colin Cowherd. Skip is a troll. He is, very You know, he just says stuff to troll you. That whole Absolutely. clutch gene and everything, like, dude, kill yourself. Get out of here. Yeah, kill yourself. Get out of here. Um, but I didn't have anything else, man. What are we going to review what? next week? I don't know. You know what? I'm picking the album, man. You gonna pick? I'm picking the album. Yeah. Listen, TBD, I'm picking the album. Jay, the last time you picked an album, album. dog, we listened to uh, Miles Davis. Miles Davis, man. And I almost drove off a cliff. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. Like that might have been. I can appreciate Miles Davis, but yo, that almost made me drive all the way to, to Alaska because it was <laughs> it was that was hey. that was tough, man. Hey, you gotta do it, man. You gotta bring it back sometimes, man. Yeah. I'm going to surprise you guys, though, this week, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you guys have taken over music duties, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You've come a long way, though. I have. Because we, Thanks like, you Kev, right? yeah, a little history, you know, we definitely started our podcast. Like, Jay was under a rock for the last 15 years. He hasn't listened to anything. So, when, I listen, when you listen to the music, that's why I think it's good, because when you come in, you give it a perspective of somebody who really has kind of, like, virgin ears, so to speak. Yeah. So you don't, but... You, you have a sound that you like. And I love the fact you can appreciate some of the new stuff, but the stuff that's garbage, we kind of on part with. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. You got to call spade a spade. Yeah, just like the JIDK. I want him out of here. Yeah, I want him gone. But, that's um, so yeah. So, so we'll put it on Twitter what we're going to review. Okay. Yeah. And, for sure. um, you know, the way the internet's work, we'll definitely get some sort of news that comes out. If so, we'll drop a video or something. But, uh, Look you know. Look for a Tokyo Game Show video. Okay. Because they're. It starts officially tonight because I think Japan's a day ahead of us. Okay. I don't know. I don't fact check. I'm still in your line. I don't fact check that. You can't. I mean, I didn't. I, it, I yeah. can't, fact checking's funny. overrated, man. You it know, is. just go it with your, just go with what you're gonna say yep. and just yep. roll with it. Yep. Yeah. At least it, the key in life is to just sound like you know what you're talking about. That's the key. You don't have to know. Just sound like it. Yeah. You know. And you just get that wink, like you, like you're absolutely, and just point. Yep. That's a nugget from Nate here, guys. <laughs> but anyways, man, shout yeah. out to Kev. Um, we definitely look forward to seeing you next week, brother. Get better. Absolutely. Um, and we're um, we're pretty much out of here. I'm Nate here, right. man. I'm Jared, man. Hey, yo, drink more water, everybody. Drink it. Peace.